So, Mark, before we could start out into the Cloud Universal release, uh, uh, from a broader perspective, uh, what trends are you noticing globally in terms of enterprises moving towards multi-cloud environments? Yeah, thanks. You know, it's it's a it's really a good question. I think you know, as VMware, as we work on our products and our strategy, we always try to work back from the customer and work back from really what they're looking to accomplish in their business. And I would say. You know, uh, at this point, every enterprise customer is becoming a digital business, right? And they realize that for them to be competitive in today's world, they have to be able to move quickly. They have to be able to deliver new value and new services to their customers. And to be able to do that, they need to uh, transform themselves internally. And so, you know, in support of becoming a digital business, uh, we see them prioritizing two big initiatives uh, typically. Um, the first is uh, cloud migrations, right? So significant interest across our customer base in uh, increasingly uh, moving uh, applications and building new applications in the public cloud. Um, the second is uh, really application transformation, right? Back to what I was saying before, um, how do they really uh, develop new uh, services for their customers? And so it's really that combination, I would say, of uh, you know cloud initiatives and application transformation are um, two of the biggest investment areas we see across our enterprise customer base right now. So, Mark, uh, talking about uh, VMware's uh, cloud portfolio, so what gaps in the portfolio does this recent launch address? How much are you betting on the SaaS model in the long run for VMware's uh, future prospects? If you look at, uh, you know, what we launched today, uh, we launched, you know, a VMware Cloud, right? And we talk about VMware Cloud as uh, a, a modular set of multi-cloud services. Um, but if you look at really what we're doing uh, within that, um, we're bringing together sort of two powerful technologies within VMware into a single integrated uh, set of capabilities that, that we call VMware Cloud. Um, the first uh, VMware capability that's part of this is something called Tanzu. Um, so Tanzu, you can think about, is, is our portfolio for, uh, for developers um, that enables them to accelerate their ability to deliver new applications and, and, and services um, it is uh, based on Kubernetes, right? So we provide a Kubernetes-based environment for developers, um, as well as a set of value added services on, running on top of that base Kubernetes platform. And so the core value prop there is sort of uh, accelerate uh, developers, um, increase their efficiency, um, accelerate their path to deliver new applications and services. So that's kind of, you can think about the upper layer of the solution, right? Now, the, the second part of the solution uh, is called VMware Cloud Foundation. And uh, this uh, is uh, sort of our enterprise class uh, compute, network, storage, and management services um, that uh, really have these enterprise class capabilities that help ensure application availability, um, security, efficient operations for the IT organization that's responsible for hosting those applications. And so we're really uh, bringing sort of Tanzu and VMware Cloud Foundation uh, together into, into VMware Cloud. Um, and then we enable that VMware cloud uh, to run wherever the customer wants to be able to run their applications. So it runs in their data centers, of course. We've also enabled it to run across all the major public clouds. So we have deep partnerships with, uh, with AWS, with Azure, with Google, with Oracle, with IBM, with Alibaba Cloud. Um, you know, in all cases, uh, uh, enabling that, VM, that VMware cloud environment within those public clouds. Enterprises uh, who still run on uh, a majority of legacy applications who do not have Kubernetes, micro microservices-based architectures. So how will the VMware cloud uh, help them and how will your team help them uh, migrate to the cloud faster? If you look at sort of the core, uh, many, many of our enterprise customers, um, they have a very uh, deep and rich set of traditional applications um, that they're running today in their own data centers. And they've optimized those applications over many years on top of the core VMware infrastructure stack that's also running in those data centers, right? Based on, uh, for example, technologies like vSphere uh, for compute, vSAN for storage, NSX for networking. Um, and so, um, you know, that's, that's what many of them have running today. Now, uh, the really powerful thing is that if that customer now wants to uh, migrate to the public cloud, because we've enabled that same core set of VMware capabilities in each of the public clouds, if I take uh, VMware Cloud on AWS as one example, we've enabled that same core VMware set of capabilities running as a native service in the AWS public cloud. 
Um, because we have that same compatible environment uh, that they have both in their running their apps on in their own data center and now available in all the major public clouds, um, we can take a cloud migration effort that might have previously taken three to five years, right? And millions of dollars per application to replatform and re-architect those applications to be able to run in this different environment, right? Now, instead, we can literally allow them to, uh, we can take that migration that would have taken three to five years and we can take it down to a few months. Your revenues uh, recently were at uh, 2.6 billion for 2021. This was an increase of 38% from the previous year. So would it be safe to say that uh, VMware Cloud Universal is clearly a move towards this side? What type of growth are you expecting from Universal moving forward for VMware? Yeah, so you know, I think as you mentioned, um, if you look at VMware overall, we're about uh, 11 billion total in revenue. Within that, our SaaS and subscription um, uh, revenue this past year was uh, was 2.6 uh, billion, right? So it's about a quarter of the total VMware revenue. Um, and um, if you look at what we're doing with uh, with VMware Cloud Universal, you know, anything that we can do uh, to make it easier, uh, simpler, and faster for our customers to get the value from our products and services will obviously only help us uh, sort of grow that part of our business faster. And we do expect that part of our business to continue to grow faster than the overall, uh, you know, than VMware overall, if you look, if you look at the larger number. Um, and so, you know, we're really, really, really focused on making it easy for customers, delivering value to customers, giving them flexibility and choice. And we think if we do a good job of that, it will show in, in, our, in our numbers over time. But, but we always, always obviously start with the customer. The other launch, uh, Mark, the VMware Cloud Console. So uh, what specific advantages uh, does it bring in terms of uh, for customers who want to manage their uh, VMware Cloud infrastructures? How does it help work? Let me talk first about VMware Cloud Universal um, as give you a little bit of context, then I'll, I'll answer your question about the VMware Cloud Console. So, um, you know, I sort of talked about the VMware Cloud and the fact that we have this rich portfolio of services that can run across the data center all the public clouds and these edge environments and the value that brings to, um, to our enterprise customers. Um, but one thing we also heard from enterprise customers is they wanted really a lot of flexibility in how they were able to consume those services. Um, and so uh, we uh, are introducing VMware Cloud Universal as a very flexible subscription model for customers to consume and get the benefits of that portfolio of VMware Cloud services that I talked about before. And so, for example, VMware Cloud Universal uh, allows the customer to pay, pay us once up front, right? And then flex and then get credits based on that, that upfront payment. And then flexibly redeem those credits against any of the offers uh, that are made available under VMware Cloud Universal across the VMware portfolio. So uh, that gives them a lot of flexibility for how they uh, take advantage of our services across the data center and clouds and edge. Um, it also has uh, something within it called the cloud acceleration benefits. To answer your question about uh, the VMware Cloud Console, the VMware Cloud Console is a single portal that the customer can go to to basically uh, do the things that I just talked about. So they can uh, see how many credits they have available. They can redeem those credits against the subscriptions that they want to light up and take advantage of. Uh, they can do that across... Um, you know, uh, um, in the data center with our VMware Cloud Foundation subscription. They can do that in the public cloud with uh, VMware Cloud and AWS uh, subscription. What would you say are the top three differentiating factors, the advantages for VMware Cloud Universal for enterprises over other cloud competitors? You know, three big uh, customer-facing benefits for VMware Cloud, right? So the, the first benefit for VMware Cloud is, um, really accelerating their our enterprise customers' application modernization initiatives. You know, we can we can take the initiatives and uh, reduce the time to deliver on those by eighty percent. Right? The second benefit we offer is um, ex the ability to accelerate customers' cloud migration. Right, so we can take cloud migrations uh, from on-prem into uh, into customers' public cloud of choice. Um, into a VMware cloud-based environment in that public cloud. Uh, we can take that down, as I mentioned before, from, you know, years to months, right, at a much lower cost and a much lower risk and, and effectively no business, uh, business disruption in that process. So the, the second one is accelerate their cloud migration. Um, the third is, uh, frankly, just 
helping them save money and reduce their total cost of ownership. So we've shown that through VMware Cloud, um, we can we can reduce a customer's total cost of ownership by 59% versus a traditional data center environment. So we've shown, for example, a customer moving from a traditional existing data center environment to a modern cloud service platform like VMware Cloud and AWS, um, they can reduce their uh, TCO by, by 59%. 